Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about hierarchies in the Power BI. First of all, what is hierarchy we need to understand? So hierarchy is nothing but a English, general English word actually. It means that the people or things need to be arranged in a particular order based on their importance. Let us assume it like we are arranging a people based on their importance like CEO, project manager, next we will come to the team leader, next developer like that we will be arranging in an order. So if you go to the normal uh, country wise, country, state, city. So based on their importance, like we will be arranging in a, an order. That is nothing but a hierarchy. It is a basic English word. Then how to implement that hierarchy in Power BI, we will see now. So before going to the Power BI window, let me show you what is the data I am going to use. Let's go to the MySQL Server uh, 2012 window where I have AdventureWorks 2012 Data Warehouse DW. AdventureWorks DW 2012. So in this, I have a couple of dimension tables as well as a couple of, of fact tables. So these are all the list of tables we have in the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse. But I will be using what are all the tables which are required. So here I will be using some date tables from uh, some product tables and some um, fact tables. So let me go and show you how to load even in this hierarchy. You can see how to connect to the SQL Server database and how to load the different tables. So if you see this here, you need to click on get data to connect to the SQL Server or any data source. So once you click on get data here, you can see the list of data sources which are available. So now here I will be selecting the SQL Server. Here my source is in SQL Server. Let me click on SQL Server. So it will ask you for the data source server name. So my server name is dot slash SQL 2012. So if your server name is dot, you can keep on, you can keep dot and you can click on OK. Here I will not be keeping the database name. So here you can keep it. Otherwise in the next window, it will ask you what is the database name you want to to connect. Let's click on OK. Once you click on OK, it will show you the list of options which are available, list of databases which are available in your um, server. Here I will be selecting the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012. Under that I have a 39 tables. Out of 39 tables, I will be selecting what are all the tables which are required for my example. So here if you see this, I will be selecting couple of tables. Dim date, next dim geography, dim product, dim product category, dim product subcategory. If you see this, I have selected five dimension tables. So let me go back to the go to the some fact tables as well. Let's select the fact internet sales and uh, fact uh, reseller sales. If you see that I have selected two fact tables and five dimension tables. So once you are okay, you can click on load. So once you click on load, it may take a while to load the data into the Power BI window. If you see this, you can see the progress also. It may take a while. let it load let's wait for the load complete yeah so load is completed if you see this these are all the list of tables you can see here dim date dim geography dim product dim product category dim product subcategory fact internet sales fact reseller sales so these are all the tables i loaded into my power bi window so i am planning to use these tables for my example so in this example, we are planning to talk about hierarchies. So for that, I need to create the hierarchy based on their order and importance. Okay. So before going to create an hierarchy, so let me show you the 
modeling part of it let me click on the modeling so there you can see how the table are linked i just click let's wait for it yeah, if you see so these are all the tables which are linked like this if you see okay now let me go to the report uh, view okay so this is a place where we will be designing the reports now let me talk about hierarchy more here if you talk about hierarchy as i told you people are things are products which will be ordered in a specific manner based on their importance now let me create a hierarchy in the dim geography table let me expand the gym dim geography under that if you see i have a couple of columns here i have a country region and english country name and uh, state uh, province uh, name as well as city name so i am planning to create a hierarchy on the top of the dim geography table starting with a country name state province name and at the end i plan to keep a city name so let me create a hierarchy how to create a hierarchy we need to see here simply right click on the table and click on new hierarchy so what is the column you want to keep as a first order let's select that so i am planning to keep english country region name as a, a starting hierarchy point let's select that column right click click on new hierarchy so once you click on new hierarchy internally it creates a hierarchy for us with this if you see this there is a hierarchy symbol you can see it's a kind of tree symbol okay uh, and the name of the hierarchy also will come as a uh, along with the column name english country region name space hierarchy now so i want to add state province name to this hierarchy how to do that select the state province name province name right click and add to the hierarchy so i just am planning to add it now if you see this it may take a while and if you see the state uh, province name is added to the english country name next so i am planning to add city as discussed earlier select the city column right click and add to hierarchy yes let's do that now now if you see this these three columns are ordered added in a specific order if you want to rename that hierarchy you can simply right click and rename that you can rename it whatever the name you want you can keep that that's fine so i want to go with the same name so the hierarchy has been created now so i want to display the uh, data in this order first country name next uh, state province name next uh, city name in these three levels of data i have in my a uh, hierarchy if you want to go with the two levels you can remove city and you can go with it that's up to us next so what is the value field you want to take so there is a value field you have from the uh, fact tables so you can go and uh, select that value fields so before going to select that value fields let's decide on the visualization part so what is the chart you want to display what is the visualization you want to use for your um, example so i want to take a clustered column chart so let's double click on it so once you double click on it that clustered column chart will come into the empty space of the report or page let's make it as bigger size little for the better visualization so this is the empty even now let's select this english country name yeah once you select that it automatically comes in the access part it automatically comes in the access part so to generate a, a visualization you need access and the value as well so access is done now let me go and select the value from the fact table so let me minimize that dim geography dimension let me expand either internet sales or reseller sales here let me select the sales amount so as the tables are already connected internally so let me select this so once i select this value field once i select this value field let me select the reseller one let me select the reseller one yeah so if you see this once i select the value field it automatically came in the value section and if you see this 
the value is uh, is same for every bar it means that so there is no link between that uh, uh, dim geography dimension and the this uh, uh, reseller uh, uh, sales uh, sales amount so that is the reason why it gave you the same figure now let me establish a link between those uh, two tables then it automatically gives you the correct picture correct figure of the particular uh, geography so let me enable that to get a changing value i might need to establish a relation between the dim geography tables and the uh, fact uh, tables to get the relation i need to add a one more table let me go to the get data yes so in the middle of the um, uh, page design also you can add the tables by clicking on the get data click on sql server and provide the server name as earlier dot slash sql 2012 and click on ok similarly it will give you the list of databases and along with that table names here i will be adding a, a common table between the fact table and the dimension tables let's click on load so once you click on load so it may take a while to load the data it is loading as of now so once it is loaded you can see that so the data is automatically adjusted according to the to the relation now if you see this let me increase the size yeah if you see this so this is australia canada france germany united kingdom and united states so if you want to show the data for only the specific country so you can do that even so by default it will show you all the country names if you want only the specific value you can select the specific countries only at the down you have a filters under that filters you can select only uk and germany or united states so once you select the uh, uk and this one you will be getting only uk and the united states and you can you can change the font and all if you want so based on your uh, uh, availability so now let me increase the font size if you want so this is the data labels i am increasing and uh, See, this is when I'm increasing this one. Now I'm able to see that in the here as well. So this is how we'll see this now. So this is the country level information. If you see this, if you want to go to the next level, so there is an icon you have here. Go to the next level in the hierarchy. Let's click on it. So once you click on it, so you will be moved to the state level. So if you see this, this is a state level information. So if you see this, so Alabama, Arizona and all, you can see the state level information, Texas, OU, Oregon and all. So if you want to go to the next level, select this and you can click on the show next level. So that is a city level. You might be having more cities. So as you have many cities in the USA and UK, if you see this. Okay. So now if you see at the end, you have a um, VAT for UK related one and York and all these are all UK related uh, ones. So this is how my hierarchy is going to work. So if you want to go up to the uh, previous level, you can click on this. You will come to the uh, state level. If you come again, you will come to the country level. So this is how we will be implementing the hierarchies in the Power BI. Now let me go to if you want to implement any styles. So you, you can do the styles in this icon. So there you can add um, a color to the uh, font or you can do uh, increase the styles and everything you can do in the in this uh, options now if you go to the fields so we created a wine hierarchy uh, finally what we did we, what we have done is so we created one hierarchy uh, by using the adventure works dimension and uh, fact tables if you see this so what are all the tables you use in the field section it is highlighted for this particular uh, visualization so here we didn't use a dim product a dim date dim customer 
dim product subcategory and factory reseller sales but internally so relations have been done so with the relations only i am able to see the data between the dim geography and fact internet sales as i don't have a direct relation between dim geography and the fact internal internet sales so this is how i do implement hierarchies in the power bi so the hierarchy concept i have in the sql server analysis services as well the purpose of hierarchy and the concept of hierarchy is always the same but the difference is how we implement in a particular tool or technology makes difference that's it thank you for watching so if you have any questions on the power bi please comment your questions in the comment section i'll try to answer based on my knowledge thank you for watching if you like our videos please subscribe and provide your feedback thank you